Hey guys, you watch Boogie Plays Games, or sometimes Boogie Plays Games. Today we're not going to be playing a game, unless you count collecting and cracking packs to be part of the game, and I think it's the most important part of, game, of the game to me. Uh, we're treasure hunting once again today. We're looking for some valuable cards in the latest expansion, Eldritch Moon. Um, the final set in this new second Innistrad block. And I've got to tell you, we just opened our first box, and that's over on the main channel if you want to check it out. Um, I hope that you do. Uh, and if you're here from that video, thank you for coming on over. Uh, I got a hell of a box. I think it was 150 bucks value, which was pretty good. A lot of good rares, a lot of good mythics. We got some of the, the, the meld cards. We got some pretty cool stuff. I'm hoping this box will also be cool. As always, when I do these here on the Gameplay channel, I had to go a lot faster. I like to go a lot, lot faster. So we're going to do that today. We're going to go as fast as we can and just show you the rares. I will say, by the way, this video is also sponsored. Uh, by my good friend MTG Headquarters, who paid for the last box, this box, and even a little bit more. Uh, thank you guys for doing that. And if you're unfamiliar with MTG Headquarters, he's another YouTuber here on YouTube. Uh, he's great for new players who are looking for new Magic the Gathering content. He also does a lot of really great um, unboxings for some quality, long-standing product, product that I never even got a chance to open. And I love watching that. It's my favorite thing that he does. And he'll, of course, open a box of Eldritch Moon. So why don't you go over there, watch that video, maybe give him a sub and tell him I sent you, um, and use the link in the description box below to do it as well. Camera is not currently focused, I understand that. But when I hold up magic cards, you'll be able to read them perfectly clearly, and that's why we do this. So bear with me. Here we go. We're also recording this live on Twitch. Uh, so we got about 1,800 people watching right now. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate that. And thank you guys for watching here on YouTube. Now that said, let's get right into it. We'll go straight to the back. We got a token. We got a... Whoa! Well, our first rare is Bruna, the Fading Light. One of the meld cards. Seven casting costs five, seven. Uh, when you cast her, you may return an angel or human creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. She's also flying and vigilant. And she also melds with Bruna. <whistles> Sexy stuff. Sexy stuff. Here's our uncommon flip card. Here's our rare, another very valuable rare, Eldritch Evolution. Three casting cost sorcery. This is an additional cast to this. Sack a dude. Search your library for a creature card to convert a mana cost to extra less, where X is two plus the sacked creature's converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library, then exile this. Fixed um, nature's... Oh, what's that card? I can't remember. But a balanced card while still being... Very, very powerful. And once again, a very, very powerful um, Natural Order. That's the card, fixed card. The reason this is better than Natural Order is because it doesn't care about colors. It doesn't have to be a green creature that you sack and doesn't have to be a green creature that you go get. I think that's kind of cool. Um, I love powerful source reasons as spells right now. Here's a foil, kind of boring foil. Our flip card, also kind of boring. And our rare... Distended Mindbender. Love the art. Not a very powerful card. 8 casting costs 5-5. Five, five. You can emerge it into play. But the come into play effect is amazing. Uh, you choose a non-land heart card, 3 or less, and then a non-land card, 4 or more. Getting 2 cards, uh, I mean, that's very powerful. If you can get that guy into play, you're going to do real work. going to do real, real work with him. I just love the Eldrazi effect. I wish this second set had been a bigger set. So there were more cards to gather and to get. Um, I really, really do. Here is Coax from the Blind Eternities. Once again, the art on this is incredible. That's why I do the camera focus this way, so you can see the art so well. Coax from the Blind Eternities. You may choose an Eldrazi card from you own, you own from outside of the game, uh, or an Exile Reveal that card and put it in your hand. We get an Eldrazi Wish. That's weird. That's weird. I did not even see that card get it spoiled. I did not even see that card get spoiled, you know? That's something, by the way, that we don't see much of in Magic. Uh, I discovered recently by messing around with the Pokemon trading card game that they do it in Pokemon, and I think they've done it in Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, where, where they don't really spoil every card. Like, some cards are secret cards. I wish they did more of that in Magic. I wish that there were secret cards that nobody knew about until the set launched. And uh, I'm glad they don't do super rares, though. Splendid Reclamation. Very powerful card. Get all your lands into play. That's insane. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. Why is that card like that? That card is just crazy. 
Here we go. Going fast. Getting to the good stuff. Thalia's Lancers. Four ca five cast costs four, four, first strike. When there's the battlefield, search your library for a legendary card, reveal it, and put it in your hand. I don't know who the target audience for that card is. I'm kind of confused, but it might be played. Probably EDH. Anything that says legendary. It's going to be related to EDH in some way. In a positive way, hopefully. Here is one of my favorite cards of the set. Uh, it's basically Donate in red. Harmless Offering. Look at the cute little kitty. Look at the cute little kitty. Oh my god, its tail is a mouth. Its tail is a mouth. Give target uh, opponent a permanent you control, including a bad one. Including one that's about to kill you. Yay. That's format warping right there. That is format warping right now. Here's, uh, we've seen her again. This is a cool flip card. Voldaren Pariah. Five casting costs three, three flying. Sack three other dudes to transform it. And you can madness it into play. Boom. Crazy goat vampire lady. What the fuck is happening there? Bosher of Bloodlines. Just that art is insane. I mean, the power, the ability is amazing too. You sack three die, guys now. They have to sack three guys to her. Including a goat, apparently. Just such a beautiful art, man. This is... Now, I've always played Magic in relation to the art. I love the art. But the art for this set is off the chain. Dark Salvation. Again, this card confuses me. Target player puts X, 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield. Then up to one target creature. Gets minus one, minus one. Until end of turn for each zombie that player controls. Does that mean the number of zombies I control? So otherwise, it's a shit card. It's a very confusing card, I can tell you that. I don't know what that means. I played Magic for 23 years. I played Alpha. I played with Alpha cards. And the wording on that card makes me scratch my head. I, knew, I know what Ice Cauldron does, and I still can't tell you what that card does. So does that tell you anything, Wizards? Ooh, here's a weird card. Soul Separator. Three casting cost artifact. For five mana, tap it and sacrifice this. Exile target card from the graveyard, from your graveyard. Put a token out of the battlefield that's a copy of the card, except it's 1-1. One, one. It's a spirit in addition to its other types. It has flying. And then put a black zombie creature token out of the battlefield with power equal to the card's power and toughness equal to that card's... With card's power and toughness equal to that card's toughness. So you get... <laughs> you get a 1-1 one, one flyer. That's a copy of that card, except it's 1-1 one, one flyer. And then you get a zombie that's as big as its body was. What? What just insanity? That's just insane. That card is completely insane. I don't understand at all. And why they don't? Why they don't invent cards like this more often? I don't know because it's cards like that that just make me say, "Hooray! What a wonderful, wonderful." experience card's not that valuable but it's just weird is it one ones so it had but it has the abilities of the other card yes and what weird effects that could have here's one of the worst cards of the set providence save your life to 26 and then also gain 26 life or become 26 you save your life to 26 twice which is not something i really want to do once and in some formats that's a downgrade you lose hit points so kind of meh Kind of meh there. Uh, kind of a meh box so far. There's Permeating Mass. Again, just a cool card. Look at the face on that card. Look at the art. Everything is becoming 1-3 spirits. Everything is becoming 1-3 spirits. A very weird card. I have friends who play this, but I don't... Uh, but I don't want, I don't currently play and I'd like to. What's something good to start with? Let your friends recommend that. Your friends can tell you more about what formats they like to play and they can get you in the right direction. I'll tell you something, there's a real chance your friends will give you free stuff to get started. I would for my friends. Here's the Spell Queller, 2-3 th Flyer. It's basically an O-ring for, uh, for spells and I like that. I really like that. O-ring a spell that costs four or more. I think it could have been any spell or I think it could have been uh, sorcery or uh, 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 instant would have worked as well. But, I mean, something that costs four or more is pretty good. I'm certainly not going to dislike that card just because of the, what they chose. I'm sure there's some balance reason that they went with what they went with four or more, but 
The card is good enough as it is. It doesn't have to be one ounce better. I just wish it was. There's the noose grab mob. Again, crazy art. Ten power with the zombies. You get a, a, five, a six chance to cost five five zombie. People play spells and you pop off zombies left and right. Again, this isn't Grave Titan. It's not close to Grave Titan, but it's interesting. It's interesting to me. It's the kind of card I want to see if I can play with. It'll probably go in a cube. I keep thinking, I've got two cubes now. My first cube is uh, just some of my favorite cards, and it's very large. It's a variety cube. Secondary cube is a Ravnica-themed cube, so it's cards from the first two Ravnica sets. Um, the cube that I'm thinking about building is a tribal cube. I don't know if it'll be fun, uh, but I think it could support up to uh, 10 tribes, and I think I would like to. Bedlam Reveler, Reveler we've seen them. Weird Devil. If you're playing with a lot of instant sorceries, you can play them for two red and get a two red, three, four with prowess, and you can discard your hand and draw three cards when you do it. So, I don't know about that guy. I had a friend try to play him in limited. I don't know if it was worth it. But, somebody in chat mentions the smell of uh, opening new cards, and I gotta tell you, I love the smell. It feels so good. This collective brutality, I love these collective spells. Uh, I think there's only three colors of collector spells. I wish everybody got them. I escalate, discard a card, target opponent reveals his or her hand, and you can get a instant or sorcery, or minus two, minus two, or target player gate loses two life and you gain two life. I like that card. Again, I'm a big fan of modal spells, though. I love the I love the charms. I love the wishes. I or not the wishes, but the commands. Give me more stuff like that. Give me more stuff like that. There's a foil unsubstantiate return target spell or creature to its owner's hand basically it's a remand on crack i like this card this is something blue should do i don't know that it's uh, going to see much play but it might because that's a lot of the kinds of things blue should do there's our ball lightning variation of the block seems like they always try and they always fail just reprint ball lightning hashtag reprint ball lightning hashtag Bring back corsets. Hashtag Boogie Misses Corsets. Hashtag We Love You Morrow. <laughs> Can we get that? This uh, Look how this cat's pack's cut. That's weird. That's weird. I wonder if this pack will be special in any way because it's cut super weird. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it was even hard to open. It's even hard to open. Do do do. Oh! Well, there's a foil Eldrazi octopus. Octopussy. <laughs> oh, what a cool octopus. There's a common. Here's a rare Cigarda's Aid. Love the art, man. That art is awesome. Very reminiscent of um, what the, the, the Sistine Chapel, right? Very cool. Here's a hammer for you, feller. Oh, I was just getting my ass beat. But he's fucking zombies. I don't... I don't know so many fucking zombies. And did you see there was a vampire that was part goat? I don't know what the fuck is happening. Eldrazi, what's that? I don't know. Oh, shit. They're everywhere. Oh, Lord. Help me out, you fucking angel. Nibbles of Frost. Forecast goes 3 3 flying prowess. Whenever you play an instant or sorcery, freeze a guy. I like that guy. I had him in limited. And when I only went 2 and 2 for my. Pre-release, I had a lot of fun with them. It's just a very fun card. <laughs> People are enjoying my little story there. There is another crazy weird card. Three cast to cost three two. You already have my attention there. A human horror. Look at this. Look at him. Look at the shit that's growing out of him and he's drowning that guy. What? Look at the art of the set. Look at the art of the set. This is some of the best art in fantasy history. God, I love it. Love this set. Uh, tap to sacrifice Emrakul's Evangel and any number of other non-Eldrazi creatures. Put a 3-2 colorless Eldrazi horror creature token onto the battlefield for each creature sacrificed this way. What the fuck is going on, dude? He kills himself. He kills everybody else. You get three twos to replace them all. You got tokens in play. Hey, everybody's big. You got, I don't know, you got stuff on dying stuff in play. Oh, I looked at back. Who, oh, what the hell is going on, man? I don't think the card's very valuable, but I think it's playable. I think it's definitely playable. And I think you can see something like that in uh, some sort of green-white token thing. 
I think I would expect to see that in some sort of token build. For sure. Hey! There we go! Probably my favorite card of the set. I don't know if it's the most valuable card of the set, but it's amazing. It's no Bane Slayer, but it's close. Four cast to cost four three flying first strike life link. At the beginning of your end step, if you own this and the other angel, flip them into one giant dude. Doesn't that look just fucking weird? Doesn't that just look crazy weird? How weird is that? How weird is that? Oh, we still get another rare in here. Our other rare is Stromkirk Occultist. Three casting costs three, two Trampler, Vampire Horror. When this deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of your library until end of turn you may play that card. You still have to pay the cost. And again, Madness is for two mana. So Vampire Madness is definitely a thing, I think. So Vampire Tribal focusing on Madness is probably definitely a thing. Good, look at that art again. All the tentacles shooting out of shit. Just hats off, Wizards of the Coast. Every time you guys do Innistrad, you do it right. Every time I feel like I've lost faith in this game, every time I feel like you've lost direction, you come back to Innistrad or you knock it out of the park with a wonderful set, and this set is so wonderful. You just restore my faith all the time. Here's another... Um, Mythic, I think it's a cheap mythic. It's Mind's Dilation, 7 cast and cost enchantment. When an opponent casts his or her first spell each turn, that player exiles the top card of his or her library. If it's a non-land card, you may cast without paying its mana cost. So if you have a way to manipulate your library, that's interesting, but it doesn't do much else. Probably some crazy combo thing. Here's another weird, weirdly sealed pack. Another weirdly sealed pack. Hey, Wizards of the Coast, if you want to see the barcode on it. There it is, in case there's something wrong with it. Hashtag bring corsets back. Hashtag Stromkirk condemned. Meh. Again, Vampire Tribal, if it's a thing, he's the core of it. You know. Mind Dilation is a limited bomb. Yeah, I bet. You're casting twice the spells. Here is... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here is Geyer Reach Sanitarium. Uh, tap to add colors to your mana pool. For two, each player draws a card and then discards a card. So, pretty cool. Pretty fancy. Do like that card. Where's the what's the money we're looking for? We're looking for Planeswalkers and we're looking for Mythic Angels. I think those are the big money cards out of the set. Here's a foil. It of the Horrid Swarm. Now, here's another complaint I had about the last Eldrazi set. All of the Eldrazi were named stupid shit. Nothing cool like It of the Horrid Swarm. This is a good name. Why did you put it on a mediocre card? This is the card that should be named something stupid. Eight cast and cost four, four. Emerge six and green. When you cast It of the Horrid Stor Swarm, put two, one, one insects in the book. This is not a good card. Oh. You know. Hey, there's Thalia. She's worth a couple bucks for sure. Three cast to cost three, two, first strike. Creatures and non basic lands your opponent bring comes into play, come to play tap. I wish it was all lands. Just be fair. I wish it was all lands. I didn't even think it was all lands. I mean, coming to play, non basic lands coming into play, tap is what they do half the time anymore. Anyway, anyway. So it doesn't really do anything, it doesn't really achieve anything. Here's the Imperious, Impetuous Devils, six cast and cost, four cast and cost, six one, Trampler, sack it at the end of the turn. It's your Ball Lightning variation. Hashtag bring back Ball Lightning. Hashtag I miss corsets. Hashtag suck nerds. This was another weirdly bundled box pack. Oh, here we go. Rare flip card. We've seen only a handful of those. Docent of Perfection, five casting cost five four. Love this card, by the way. This card's very good. Five casting cost five four. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a one one blue human wizard creature token onto the battlefield. Then, if you control three or more wizards, transform this. And when it transforms, what the hell is going on here? Final iteration. Flying wizards you control get plus two plus one. Half flying. And when you cast an instant or sorcery spell, get a one one blue human wizard creature token onto the four, which is then actually a three two. Which is what the fuck is going on? What is going on? What are you guys doing over there? I don't know what the hell is going on. 
Crazy cards. Just crazy cards. Heron's a grace champion. Forecasting cost 3-3. Humans get plus one, plus one till end of turn. And lifelink. And he himself has lifelink. Good card. Good card. Here we go. Boring. Uh, again, just I mean, he's a good zombie. One drop zombie. Black and one. One, one for one. Black and one. Tap and discard a card. Put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token into the play. And you can tap three zombies to draw a card. Lose life. I can see that ability being relevant and standard occasionally. You know? Again, no Grave Titan, but what is? Somebody in chat says, I hate flashcards. Hey, look who's in chat. It's our sponsor, by the way. MTG Headquarters, who just got a shout-out, but is getting one more. Uh, MTG Headquarters, by the way, has graciously paid for the previous box and this box and even a little more uh, in exchange for having his link shouted in chat and as well as being in the description box below. Do me a favor, click that link and check him out. He's great for new players who are just learning the game. He does a lot of super cool unboxings, uh, including some legacy stuff that you can't find anywhere else, stuff that I wouldn't dare purchase to open anymore. And it's fascinating to watch him hit that stuff. Sometimes he hits, sometimes he misses. Still fun to watch. There's the Oath of Liliana that I complained so much wasn't in Gatewatch. I was so mad that Liliana didn't get an Oath, that Black didn't get an Oath. Well, here she is. Oath of Liliana, two in Black. When Oath of Liliana enters battlefield, sack a dude. At the beginning of each instep, if a planeswalker enters the battlefield under your control this turn, put a 2-2 Black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Each opponent sacks a dude. Each opponent sacks a dude. Three mana... To fucking force your opponent to sack a dude. Very reasonable. Also, get zombies when you play uh, Planeswalkers. They're pushing Super Friends so hard. I don't know. I'm not that familiar with Standard's mana bases right now. So I can't tell you if what colors that you'll make that uh, a deck. But boy, the Os plus um, the Planeswalkers should be crazy. There's Collective Effort. Three cast to cost. Sorcery for white... Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Destroy target enchantment or put plus one, plus one counters on each creature target player controls. Again, look at that art. Look at Gideon with the shield and the whip going crazy. Look at those zombies, man. Love it. Love it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, check it out. Tameo emblem. There's our token there. There's a foil fortune's favor. Target opponent looks at the top four cards of his or her library, sets them into a face down pile and a face up pile. Put one pile uh, into your hand and the other pile into your graveyard. I mean, I don't know. That seems that seems doable. I don't know if that card's good or not. Hard to evaluate that. It's no fact or fiction. Imprisoned in the moon. Yay! Great card. Great, great card. Also a spoiler. So don't look at the art if you don't want to know. But enchant creature, land, or planeswalker, that thing is now a colorless land that taps for colorless. And again, that's the kind of stuff that Blue could be doing. That's the kind of interesting stuff Blue could be doing. It doesn't have to all be Ancestral Recall Wizards. Okay? Here's a foil contingency plan. I just love the name. And the art on that is super cool. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest back on top of your library in any order. Look at the top five. Put the number back into your graveyard. Huh. Weird. Weird. Can I just take a moment to shout out this guy? Look at Curious Homunculus. Two cast that cost one one. Taps for a colorless. You can play it to cast instant sorcery spells. At the beginning of your upkeep, there's three more. You can flip them. And look at the backside of this little crazy shit. Shoving books up his butthole and stuff. Look at that. Three, <laughs> three four prowess and, and spells are cheaper to play. He's gone insane. That dude loves books, man. That dude loves books. Oh! There we go. Hit number two. Tamio number two. Got one out of the last box. Spoiler if you didn't watch that video yet. And there's number two. Two Tamios out of this case so far. Quite glad to have it. Quite glad to have her. Nice. Here we go. Uh, brrp. Here's a rare. Summary, dismissal, four mana, exile all other spells, and counter all abilities. 
Now, I, let me just go ahead and say that this is a cancel I could get behind. I wish it was three. At four, it's still pretty damn cool. And look at that. He's letting the ghost, he's putting the ghost in the bottle. I mean, that's pretty powerful. That's a pretty damn powerful thing. Uh, it has some real multiplayer implications to it. So I'm going to do a thing. One response, I'm going to do this thing. One response, he's doing this thing. One response, I'm doing this thing. Hey, shut it all down. I'm fucking done with your shit. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Graph Rats. There's the red Collective Defiance. Three casting cost. Target player discards all their cards in their hand and draws that many cards. Uh, target this deals four to a player, or four to a creature, or three to a player. Okay. That does work. I wish it could have been four to a player and four to a creature as well. But beggars can't be choosers, so that's good enough as it is. That's good enough as it is. There's McCassick Prowler. I love you, buddy. Here is Spirit of the Hunt. Three cast costs three, three. Flash, pump your wolves. Make them tougher. I wish that was aggressive. Even if it was plus one, plus three. Or just plus one, plus one across the board. I get that he's designed to save your wolves, not attack. And saving your wolves is just as valuable. But I sure wish he blew things up and went and saved. Hey, there he is. Woo. Another meld card. So crazy. Here is... Hanward Garrison, three cast to cost two, three, human soldier, but attacks to two plus, put two, one, one red creature tokens attacked, attacked and attacking onto the battlefield. And then, of course, it melds with the, the land. Uh, we do have a rare, another rare out of the pack. And it is the six cast to cost six, six, when a creature you control with toughness four or greater dies, draw a card. Mm. I mean, I like anything that says draw a card on it. You got my attention with that, but... Kind of limited there, and I'll tell you what I think would have made that card cubable. I don't think it's going into my cube with its current iteration, but what would have made that cubable to me would have been Trample. Trample is the only thing that would have needed to be different. So, um, meh. Boop. Here's a rare. Blood Hall Priest. Four cast, it costs four, four. When it is the battlefield or attacks, if you have no cards in hand, deal two damage to target creature or player, and she can madness out for three. I mean, that's not very good, so. Especially to be a gold card in a non gold set. I don't know why it does that. People don't like Hellbent. I don't like Hellbent. I don't want to be Hellbent. So, here's our last pack, and as usual, the last pack is almost always terrible. But we'll hope for the best. There's our foil, Thermo Alchemist, two casting cost 03, Defender, taps it to one, and you can tap it, untap it when you do an incident or sorcery. Meh. Here's our bloop. And our final rare. It's just a cool rare. Wharf Infiltrator. Two casting cost one one. Well, we got a few good cards out of this box. We got a few chase cards. I think the next box will be better, and you can tune in right here on YouTube to find out as soon as we're done. I would imagine this box retailed. Uh, this box retailed $100, thanks to my friends over there at Gear Gaming in Fayetteville, Arkansas, down in Fayetteville. They do a wonderful job of taking good care of me, and I'm so glad that they do. They're the exclusive store that I shop at in Northwest Arkansas. Thank you guys for taking care of me, and thank you again to our sponsor, who did a wonderful job of helping me pay for these boxes. Thanks to him, I'm able to do this for you guys. Otherwise, I certainly would not be able to. And his link will be in the description box below of TG Headquarters. Uh, great for new players, great for people learning the game, great for people who like to see cool unboxings of retro product. He does a great job. Go tell him I said hi. See if his box is any better than this one. We'll try to do another box here for you here on YouTube, but we're definitely going to do another box here on stream, so please stick with me on stream. Guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.